This is Mayu, a local beekeeper in Japan keeping native Japanese honeybees. While checking up on her hives, she came across this site. More than half a dozen hornets were poking their heads into the entrance of this pile box hive. While it's not unusual to see a hive of Japanese honeybees being attacked by giant hornets in Japan, this site was a bit unusual, so Mayu decided to try to find out what happened. Currently, there are no bees coming or going from the hive. Normally, when a colony of Japanese honeybees is under attack by giant hornets, they retreat to the safety within the hive and wait out the hornets until they give up. The entrance has a metal plate, which makes it difficult for the hornets to enter, since they cannot chew through the metal like they can through wood. To remove the hornets, Mayu will use this sticky pad. First, she attaches one hornet to the sheet. She is very careful not to touch the hornet. This is not only to prevent getting stung, but to also prevent Mayu from getting any alarm pheromones on her that the giant hornet may release to call for help from other hornets in its colony. Only one hornet needs to be attached to the sticky sheet to attract other hornets. But since the hornets are all gathered at the entrance of the hive, Mayu captures them as well. The sheet is placed nearby to attract other hornets from this colony. Some people are concerned about other wildlife such as birds getting trapped in the sticky pad. But birds do not eat giant hornets. Mayu also keeps an eye out to prevent this from happening. As more hornets get trapped, they release a warning pheromone to call for help from their fellow hornets. This means that only hornets attacking the colony are attracted to the sticky mat. Hornets play an important role in Japanese ecology, so our goal is not to eliminate all of them, but to just protect our bees from the hornets that attack them. This is an effective and relatively safe way to capture hornets attacking our bees. It took only five minutes for five more hornets to be captured. There is another beehive nearby in the same apiary. This hive had not been attacked by the hornets, but there are no bees flying around. Originally, Mayu had thought that the hive was empty, but as the number of hornets decreased, more and more bees started to venture out of the hive. As mentioned before, giant hornets release pheromones to attract other hornets nearby. After there are no more hornets remaining, the bees come out and gather plant material to erase the pheromones left by the hornets. Mayu is removing the bottom panel to take a look at how the bees are doing. Pile box hives are typically frameless, so this is the easiest way to observe the colony. The bees seem to be doing well. Now that there are no more giant hornets attacking the colony, Maya will take a look inside the hive. It's not looking too good though, since there are no bees flying around. Maya is trying to pull out the bottom board, but it is surprisingly heavy. It also appears to be wet, which is also unusual. Unfortunately, from what we can see, the honeycomb are in a terrible state and no bees to be found. It looks like part of the honeycomb has fallen. 
the comb from the third box from the top and up seemed to still be intact. The smell of the honey that leaked out from the fallen honeycomb attracted the giant hornets. Mayu will dismantle this hive. While preparing, more hornets continue to be trapped. Mayu uses a stick to avoid touching the hornets. If the pheromones get on her, this could lead to the hornets attacking Mayu. Since the boxes seem to be a bit heavy, Mayu gets a hand with removing them. It looks like the comb that fell are stuck. This giant hornet is quite large and looks to be close to 5 centimeters in length. There are crossbars inside the pile box hive to help support the honeycomb. However, it was unusually hot this summer. The wax most likely became too soft, resulting in the comb falling. The bottom was so heavy when Mayu was removing it because of all the fallen honeycomb. The hornets were licking up as much honey as they could from the broken comb. Giant hornets usually try to widen the entrance by gnawing at it when they cannot get through. This was the first time that Mayu saw hornets sticking their heads into the entrance to get the honey. This is the comb that fell when Mayu initially pulled out the bottom board. After capturing the few remaining hornets, Mayu picks up the fallen comb. Mayu managed to capture quite a few hornets today. Since the hive has been removed, it is unlikely that more hornets will turn up. It's the following day, and Mayu will finish dismantling the hive that was attacked by the giant hornets. In the corner of the box are wood shavings. This is a sign of wax moth which is confirmed by the white worm that has emerged. The wax moth larvae tunnel through the honeycomb and create holes in the walls of the hive to hide themselves. The box is still structurally sound, so Maya will reuse it again after thoroughly cleaning it. Next up are the combs from the upper box. While there are some parts of the comb containing honey, it's inedible due to the wax moth infestation. If the infestation had been spotted earlier, it may have been possible to salvage the honey. While it's unlikely to contract a disease from consuming honey contaminated by wax moth, some people may be allergic to the proteins in wax moth larvae. To be safe, it's best not to consume it. The lid of the box doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Mayo doesn't flinch at the sight of a dozen giant hornets flying around, <laughs> but she's not a fan of wax moth cocoons. The cocoons had fixed the lid in place, making it difficult to remove.
Mm. Okay. It's most likely that the bees abandoned this hive and relocated to a new location. Damaged honeycomb can result in a colony absconding. Mayu hopes that wherever the colony may be, that it's doing well. Thank you for watching today's video. If you'd like to learn more about beekeeping in Japan with native Japanese honeybees, make sure to check out our other videos on this channel. We also have an Instagram where we post daily and a website all about traditional Japanese beekeeping. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below.